his name is 18-year-old Salem Antalovich. We know that he is the son of Bosnian immigrants. Apparently went to several different schools in the Salt Lake area before quitting school in 2004. But other than that, there's not a whole lot known about him. Yeah, Katie Baker is standing by live. She actually had a chance to uh, go to the family's house today and talk with a relative of the man suspected of doing the shooting. Katie? Yes, we did. We talked to the Anna Suleiman Trolovich. We do know that he lives in this house for four years. And as you mentioned, the family came from Bosnia. He did drop out of high school. Neighbors say he was very quiet. Police still don't know why he went on a shooting rampage. His family members don't either. Uh, we want to know what happened just like you guys. Salem and Tolovich's aunt can't believe what happened. It was nice boy. The suspect in this particular circumstance had one thing in his mind, and that was to kill a large number of people. Neighbors didn't see much of Salem, but talked with his parents and sisters. They'd say hi. These people are really good people. I mean, there's never been a problem with them. Salem did have run-ins with police. We did see tops here on a couple occasions, one just as early as last week. And the Salt Lake City School District says the 18-year-old never graduated from high school. He was actually enrolled in numerous, many of our schools, and uh, went from school to school. Salt Lake City police came to the family's house this morning. No answer. Hello? We tried later that day. No answer. Uh, family members are now trying to make sense of what happened. You have no idea. And we just talked to someone from the Utah Peace Institute. She says she thinks she knows the reason. It has to do with post-traumatic stress because he came from a war-torn country.